Let me respond to how the internet has changed in the last five years. Uh, first of all, we're uh, soon to run out of IP version 4 address space and it's time to get IPv6 implemented. Second, there have been some significant uh, improvements in internet resilience, specifically the domain name system security extensions, uh, the uh, routing RPKI mechanism, which is uh, still in its early stages, uh, the use of uh, IPsec on an end-to-end -end basis, otherwise known as HTTPS, uh, the introduction of internationalized domain names in the top-level domain system. Those are all very important and rather recent changes uh, to uh, internet and of course it continues to evolve uh, apace. Uh, I'd like to uh, suggest, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, that we consider uh, in a year's time, assuming that we will convene again in Kenya, uh, several specific uh, actions. Uh, with regard to the meeting there, uh, I for one would be very grateful to hear from our colleagues there at AFRINOG and AFRINIC uh, how progress is, uh, is being made in the uh, proliferation of internet uh, and internet access. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there are other institutions besides those two uh, who uh, could be prepared to uh, present their results. I would also look very much to hear from them about barriers and, uh, and problems that they're encountering. Uh, second, I think as a matter of practice, uh, the Internet Governance Forum, which is intended as a place where we discuss and raise issues, but we don't necessarily achieve either consensus or uh, action, that we undertake in this forum to identify the location, the venue, in which those problems might be addressed and that we uh, seriously take that uh, as a, a matter of responsibility and in the following year ask ourselves how much progress have we made in pursuing uh, a particular goal. Let me give you a simple example. The, our Brazilian colleagues presented a list of ten desiderata uh, earlier this week. Uh, these are principles which I think could be widely and generally accepted. In fact, I would go so far as to suggest that we should be interested in an international proliferation treaty, not a non-proliferation treaty, but a proliferation treaty uh, to uh, propagate not only those principles, but the internet that goes with them. And we might ask ourselves, in what venue could such a treaty or agreement be made? And second, can we measure progress? Uh, I want to mention just one other thing uh, as a concrete uh, uh, idea emerging out of uh, this week's discussion. There has been a great deal of concern, I'm sure, as all of you know, uh, with regard to safety and security uh, in the Internet environment. And we all recognize that there are uh, various kinds of threats uh, that interfere with the use of the net by citizens and by governments and others. Um, Sometimes this, is, uh, this discussion is lodged in a crime-based uh, framework. And uh, I have suggested in one of our um, workshops that we might think about um, attacks against the network in the same way that we would think about a fire in a building. What you typically do when a fire is burning the building is to call the fire department, not the police department. After the fire department has put out the fire, there are questions about arson, there are questions about how the fire started. Indeed, there may be need for legal uh, investigation uh, when the fire department looks to find out if this was uh, a fire that was started on purpose. Um, evidence of that needs to be uh, captured. And now we get into legal questions like what are the rules of evidence? How do we establish chain of custody of information that's relevant? Uh, to a legal proceeding. In the case of a cyber fire, similar kinds of concerns uh, would uh, apply, but the first objective is to put the fire out. The people whose cyber systems are on fire may not be prepared to respond themselves. They may need help, and having a place to turn to or places to turn to for that kind of help strikes me as an interesting proposition. The question again, Mr. Chairman, is uh, in what venue might we pursue the creation of or experimentation with 
such a fire, cyber fire department idea. So I leave that as some concrete uh, suggestions for consideration in the remainder of this session. Thank you.